What's up guys, it's Long John here and today I'm bringing you another paint shop tutorial from Black Ops 3 and today I'm doing the CSGO skin, um, the Orion for the USP and I'm doing it on the RK5. I even gave it a little silencer to kind of fit the bill. But um, this skin, or this paint job, it's like fairly easy. Um, it's just basic shapes and it shouldn't be too hard so it shouldn't take that long at all. And basically like, you, what you want to do is just start out with a like a nice just um, kind of like a gunmetal kind of gray grayish color <clears throat> like a light gray because then you'll be adding the darker gray um, like that it's almost like a tiger looking accents in the body of the gun so just start out with the gray kind of similar to the gun uh, color and then you're gonna want to add um, this right here like it's kind of like I know you may not see it in game and I'll have a picture for it like I always do in the corner but um kind of like a darker just just a tad darker like um the one below black and just kind of like the accents in the background of the orion and i use just the sporadic like zebra looking um things like you see here and just i like size them out and um so it's not too busy and just um just place two of the sized out in the middle of the gun and just cover the whole area of the gun and you can dim the opacity too if you want um, it's just personal preference on this part I think I just personally just left it as it is but yeah so the gray the starting gray just kind of similar to the way the gun looks and then the stripes tiger stripes just the one below black will be fine right here I get mixed up I'm like getting mixed up on my layers because like I can't tell the difference there we go I kept on how I had to like select it I don't know it was weird and then you want to add um, like there's orange accents around the outer edge of the gun and just barely it's just just outlining almost and so what I did, I just used that that long um, looking tool. And it's hard to get this centered like straight, but just barely tap your triggers and you should you should get it centered all right. But I'm just making this, um, I think this is the fourth or fifth orange down maybe. I'll go for the lighter orange, probably sixth down. Because it is, I would love to go for a brighter orange, but it looks most, this looks the most similar to the, uh, to the CSGO skin so it's probably like five or six down and just use that for the outline and then the back of the pistol has a little accent as well this little orange accent to the back but yeah guys and by the way I like your feedback in the comments I try to reply to everybody um, as you can tell but yeah, just leave your feedback down in the comments or just um, any suggestions you might have. I have some really awesome suggestions from uh, some of the viewers. So I do take those into account and I will be working on those soon and get them uploaded. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any suggestions or anything you'd like to see, um, I would like to start adding gameplay to my camos as well. And I think that that make this channel a little bit better. Um, right here, you want to add the same piece, but I kind of just made it thicker and it um like you want to get like a straight edge and then you want to kind of like round it off with another you just copy and paste it and place it towards the top just kind of at an angle and so far this is looking pretty good it's starting to really look like the orion like i said this is one of the easier skins to make surprisingly and then it also outlines the uh the casing where like the shell casing leaves the exits the gun yeah but you just want to get those outlined and I'm having trouble resizing it here but yeah guys like I said feedback is good any camo and like it doesn't have to be CS camo just cuz I play CS go I'm a fan yeah I found it easier just to use a square right here but um, I'm a fan of CSGO, that's why, and they have really cool skins, and that's why I've been kind of 
using it in the paint shop, but I will do anything from any other games, any other Call of Duties. Um, so just leave anything you have. I have a couple of videos from old Call of Duty skins, so I'm down for that. And then um, I just use a square to outline that the, that top part that I just did. <clears throat> And then right here, there's like a little black like square. I'm gonna add that. And you can use the outline um, just by pressing square and it'll make the shape that you have selected an outline. So you can do that. And I'm gonna make this stat track, so. <laughs> So we're gonna make this this uh, this little guy stat track just for the hell of it, and because I think you can see it like all right. And right here, I'm just adding the little accents that you see, um, the white accent in the Orion, which it doesn't look like much, but it does it does make this the um, the paint job pop. And I really like the RK5 because you can almost paint the whole gun so. I'll use that for probably future pistol um, camos. Oh, and just keep on adding the uh, the white accents to your gun. That's basically what kind of pulls the skin together. Is just the little. Uh, just the little things like that. All right, so right here I'm making the stat track, and I just kind of went for just a square, just like a little like you can choose um, any square from the the icons and stuff, and just resize it to kind of fit that little bottom area. The RK5 has a little perfect spot for the. That's why I added it because it just looked like stat track belonged there. So I just made it kind of like a dark gray, the one below black. And then I'm going to add the numbers, and we're gonna. You can just put however many kills. If you want to put 9,999 kills, go ahead. Um, I have a different plan. I'm going to have 69 kills on my uh, on my stat track Orion here. 69 confirmed kills in the battlefield. Just make kind of like the letters. Um, if you've seen stat track before, they're kind of like a reddish orange color. So. Add that beautiful six and nine. And then put some zeros in front of it just to make it look digital. Give it that digital stat track look. If I was really MLG, I could do 420, 69, but I don't think I'm at that level yet, so we'll just keep it at 69 right now. And that's what, like, the stat track looks so good on the RK5 because, like, it has that, like, designated space. It looks, it looks clean with it. And then just copy and paste the zeros. Alright, we got our stat track complete. 69 confirmed kills. Tell me what you guys put on your stat track down below in the comments. I want to know the numbers that you guys put. Oh, and the last bit I forgot to add. Um, you see the three little edges, like the three little, like almost like looks like shark fins in the back of the RK5. Right there. See, there's three of them. Um, add add orange accents to that. The same colored orange that you've been using for the uh, the Orion. There you go. Just add those, and that should complete the skin. So, if you guys have any questions, just let me know down in the comments. And I appreciate appreciate you guys for watching my videos. 
and um, I hope my tutorials help you out. I am planning on doing some gameplay, um, adding it to the videos, and also uploading commentaries and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested, let me know. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Like I said, any questions or comments about me or my work, just let me know. And thank you guys for watching. Peace.